Hello everyone and welcome back! In this new lesson we're going to complete our Nest.js Hello World example. We're going to be writing here our first Nest.js controller. So we already have here a server up and running, so we now just need to define our REST endpoint. Now our Nest.js application, just like an Angular application, can be subdivided into multiple modules that are isolated from one another. So each module might have its own set of services and functionality that is not necessarily publicly visible to other modules of the application. Let's then structure our application like that. We are going to be defining here a new module that is going to be containing all the functionality related to courses in our application. Let's then define here a new folder and inside it we are going to be defining a new feature module that we are going to be calling the courses module. For that let's create a new file with the name courses.module.ts. Inside it we are going to be defining here a new class that we are going to be calling courses module. And just like before, we are going to annotate this with the module decorator of Nest.js. We are going to be defining the configuration of the courses module later. Right now, let's take this new feature module and let's import it here in our application root module. We can do so by using here the imports property of the module configuration. Here we are going to be providing an array with all the modules that we are importing into the application root module. So let's go ahead and import here the courses feature module. Again, please make sure that you import the correct file. As you can see, there are two files with a similar name, one on the front end corresponding to the front end functionality of courses containing a series of Angular components and services, and on the back end we have the corresponding module which has the rest endpoints that we are going to be calling from those same screens. So let's import here the correct module from this specific path. With the courses module in place, let's now go ahead and define our first REST controller. So a controller is responsible for receiving an HTTP request on the server and for providing the corresponding HTTP response. The name controller comes from the terminology model view controller. So the model is going to be our data, the view is going to be the response returned to the client, in this case typically a JSON payload, and the controller is what glues the two things together by processing the incoming request and providing an outgoing response. Let's then define here our first controller. Inside here the courses folder we are going to define a new folder called controllers, where we are going to be writing the multiple controllers of our module. Now in our first example we are going to be providing here a list of courses. So let's go ahead and define here a controller for that specific courses entity, which is going to be called courses.controller.ts. Inside this file, let's go ahead and define a class with the same name, courses controller, and let's decorate it with the controller decorator from Nest.js. Now, before implementing this class, let's go ahead and plug it into Nest.js. We need to define it as being a controller. So here in our courses module, we are going to use here the controllers property. We are going to be providing here an array containing all the controllers of our applications. And with this, we can now specify our first endpoint. So our endpoint is going to be receiving an incoming request and providing the hello world string as a response. So let's define here a new function. We are simply going to call it hello world. And we're going to annotate this function with the at get decorator from nest.js common. So this is going to mark this function as the handler of a particular incoming HTTP request. So in order to specify the path of the incoming HTTP request, let's say that, for example, we want to handle the request slash API hello dash world. So an incoming get HTTP request with this URL would be handled by this function. Now, typically the processing of an HTTP request happens asynchronously. We want to, for example, query a database and get back a response. So let's go ahead and mark this function as being an asynchronous function. This means that the function will either explicitly or implicitly always return a promise. Let's return here our result. We are going to be returning hello world. 
Now notice that even though we are returning here a plain string and not a promise, the async functionality is going to take this plain string and it's going to automatically wrap it in a promise for us. So we don't necessarily have to return here a promise each time. The return type of this function is going to be implicitly promise of string. And with this, we have specified here our first controller with the slash API hello world rest endpoint. Let's see this in action. We are going to switch over here to the terminal and we are going to build again our backend. So here from inside the rest API folder, we are going to run the command npm run build. This is simply going to compile our code and output it into the dist folder. In a moment, we are going to show you how to automate these steps so that you can run your backend server on hot reload mode in development. But right now, let's simply run again the new version of the server using node. So we want to run node and access inside the dist folder, the source directory, and here we want to run the file main.js that contains the new version of our server. If we now start node, we are going to see that this time around we have here a bit more of output in our console. You can see that we have started the Nest.js application and that we have mapped here the slash API slash hello world URL for get requests into the courses controller. Let's now see our new REST endpoint in action. We are going to open here a second tab and instead of trying to access the root path of our server, we are going to instead be accessing slash API hello dash world. Let's then try this new URL and as we can see, we get here the output hello world. So we have now just built our first REST endpoint using Nest.js. So now that we have here our hello world example up and running, let's now turn this controller into the controller for the courses entity and let's return instead here a list of courses. We are also going to show you how to run our backend in hot reload mode so that you can easily deploy new versions of our backend in development.